Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your three loaders in the mad high load of Flosis Army ships refilling level 22 boxes man with Guta striking 2013 and all around neutral guy. Is there anything in these lockers? Nope. Let's talk with this guy. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at me soon. <laughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. All right. All right. This reminds me that I can actually read what's going on here. Patient files. Freddy Comas. Freddy's VDS is getting worse. Most days he can't even get out of bed. When he does manage to function, Freddy hides his insecurities and lose self-esteem behind the bullet's mask. What the medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication when for depressive syndrome is involved, but I do but do I really want to string the kid out in chlorpromazine for the rest of his life? Stanley continues to suffer from his severe and chronic head pain. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy, but I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. He blames the lighting in his quarters and the Eye strain is certainly compounding the problem. The headaches are actually a symptom of overwork and lack of sleep. Knowing Stanley and the schedule the overseer has him on, the problem isn't likely to get better anytime soon. So it's aspirin, indefinitely. A matter. Once again, the overseer has insisted on being in the room for a matter's examination, throwing any inkling of doctor patient confidentiality right out the window. I know he doesn't trust me, he never has, but I honestly believe the reason he attends his daughter's medical appointments is because he doesn't trust her. That's as ridiculous as it is sad. Amat is a great girl and the chance of her doing something stupid, pregnancy, syphilis, whatever, is so unlikely it's not even worth mentioning. Back. Experiments. The cells are still replicating normally. No mutation, thank God. If whatever is out there could penetrate this vault, I can't even begin to imagine what the overseer would do. After pouring a few more water chips and rerouting some of the power here in the clinic, I've finally been able to affect the latest sample. It's not much, but considering what I have to work with, I had a definite stop in the right direction. But this new experiment was also monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted me. He's suspected forever, I know, so I guess it was inevitable. And his help has been invaluable. I just hope he knows what he's gotten himself into. Alright. Power off. Sorry, Dad. No time on the computer for you. Right, Jonas. Hey, hey. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week? It's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering you. She's not right. a butch. Well, Go away, you stupid tunnel tests, snakes! Right? Yes, oh, let's talk to him at the... Real tunnel snake, Amada. Let's go into the store okay, okay, room, Amada. Okay. I'll show you a good time. Stay away from me! Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Just weird things like yeah, I will probably get into fight. Your daddy is the overseer? Yeah? What do you want? What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on her gang. Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. What's a Poindexter? Leave her alone or he'll answer to and me. who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. That's it, Butch. You and me, right You've now. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, Tell stop her, Butch. it. Ha. Leave him alone. I've got one. Flank him. Well, this is fun. Please, get him, guys. Fighting. I'm just going to beat up Butch because he's the weakest of the links. Please, stop fighting. Roll. 
Come on. Hit him again. Come on, down. snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. What? Let's You're on the vents? alone, you little spaz. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. All right. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Sure, I'm ready. I bet I ace it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. All right. Last time I had an issue with that bastard not finding his seat. And sit here. Like a nerd boy. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. Back Back off. Off. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? But doctor, will that cause a parabolic destabilization in the fission singularity? That's what I took last one. La two. Last time. For the working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Right. Lead the boy to safety and then turn him over Question to the overseer. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? None. You wish the Vault had a second team. Question 5. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Shoot my grandmother. I mean, throw your tea in Granny's face. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Burn down the door. Where is the option? Yeah, go to the armor, retrieve a laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I think trading the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Honestly, none of these options are actually something that I will do. <laughs> Guess this is the easiest one to fix later. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Huh, and this is a difficult one. I think it's still us here. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can Back have the off. rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants.
I've got other things to do. All right, Butch. Thank God that's over. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Here you are, Mr. You Raj. again. I hope What'd I did I tell okay. you about talking to me, huh? Nothing I don't want to catch worry a case of Ms. a nerd of our. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. All right. It's nice to know I can still be surprised. Pedicurist. I might have guessed manicurist or even masseuse, but apparently <laughs> you're a foot person. That's got to be right. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. All right. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of repair science and small guns. Actually, maybe instead of small guns, energy weapons could be fun. Yeah. There we go, that's more like it. I will have to start out with small guns though, because there really isn't much else I can find early on. Done. I've got other things to do. Very curious. <laughs> Back off. I didn't even realize that was an option. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Anything is possible, even an egg. That is the promise. It is safe now. It's going to get better one day. Selfish and insubordinate. Just wait. Wake up. You need Come to on, wake up. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand. Oh, hello, Murder. Come on. You've got to wake up. Ah, what's wrong, Murder? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. What do you mean, you mean my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Uh huh. That couldn't have really left the vault. That's impossible. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone, and Jonas is dead, and now they're looking for you. What? Jonas is dead? What the hell is going on? My father's men think Jonas helped your dad escape. They caught him and brought him to my dad's office and they... Oh my god. So they get Jonas and I'm next. Is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. You're right. I can't stay here. But where can I go? I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Thank you. Alright. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out oh, of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amanda. I'll only use it as a last resort. I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! When I say last resort, I mean I will shoot I everyone I see. Alright. This is actually... I have played the introductory part twice. But other than that, I really... haven't done much in this regard. I didn't know there were steam bags in the starting room before. Had I known that, God, that would have been so useful. I kept dying in that uh, school nearby when I was playing earlier. Right oh, hello. I suppose I could should get something now. Yeah, this is an option. Primity, more roaches. Ah! Oh, never mind. I suppose I can go with this instead then. Ah! That's not what I meant to do. Ah! 
There we go. No, we don't want your meat. I do want this armor though. With all that stuff, really. I'll just put on the armor for now because that would make me feel safer. Except for the helmet, I don't need the helmet. Because currently I look like this. Oh yeah. Kick all them butts. Right. Come on, come on, what do we have anywhere? Oh. This is an option. Is there anything? Is there toilet loot? I'm looking for toilet loot. Ah, I can heal by drinking from the toilet. And here it's not even radioactive. Oh, fun. Ah, I couldn't bypass that by going through here, couldn't I? Going all sneaky sneaky. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! <sighs> Let's go see if we can help her. No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rad roaches. <sighs> Don't worry about it, Sean. Get your mom oh out there. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! Right. What's happening? Ah! I'm going, Mrs... Name. Deloria. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Right, I must wonder if he never actually considered the rest of the lot in the gang his friends. I don't need that. But it probably would sell with a high price. It is not a necessity for me. Moving on. Oh, hello. Oh, Grandma Taylor. Oh, there's a toaster. Could do with a toaster. I don't have any toast, so I'm not going to take it with me. Hmm. Alright, moving on to the next chamber. Ah, I don't actually know which way I'm supposed to be headed. <laughs> well, there's only one option, so that solves that problem. Hold on. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Hello, Gomez. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. All right. Ah, at least that is at work. This is the classroom. Not much useful in here, is there? Huh. This you can see the desks. And that's Officer Commerce. Ah. I wish I hadn't noticed these things the first couple of times I went through this thing. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there, ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. <laughs> I'm afraid you've missed him. I believe he's gone topside for a spot of fresh air. Just hold still. Your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. I am holding still. It's your old pulsing hands that are shaking. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. I remember George used to have the lightest touch. Ah, <sighs> those were the days. I, I guess George is long dead. Ah, oh, then we are locked. Lock Bobblehead medicine. The inscription on the base reads The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Alright. 
Alright, I hope there are no more other bobbleheads here because I have never found any other bobbleheads here. Don't be such an old woman. Just a few more adjustments and you'll be as good as new. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me! Tom! Be careful! Alright, I'm going to sneak by. Tom! No! I'm not going to get into a mess with those people. Wait. What is stealing to take from this red roach? It was red earlier. Alright. You! This is your fault. You and your stupid father. He had to go to leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. He did. It was necessary. The dark stupid kid is over here. He's trying to leave the ball. Don't let him get away. I can get some glasses from here. That's good. Let's get these tinted reading glasses. And none of these currently appeal to me. How does that look? Uh, it'll do. I guess I need to lower the tint on my hair. As in... I mean... Brighten it up a little. I mean, my hair is not that dark, I don't think. Gotcha now. Did you know? Yeah! Ow! Just tell us where to find your friend so we can find him. My friend. Oh! Damn it! I'm worried about him. What if he's here to do with any of this anyway? Probably nothing. Which is why you need to find him. So I can talk to him. Go ahead, Oh! You better talk, Shirley. Stop it! He's shown us in there. Now then. Or not. Do you want an extra set of armor? It might be good for a pass. Okay, so... Oh no, Jonas is probably in the same chamber that the rest of the marine. They don't want to kill the guy, because last time I did so... The first time I played, that's what I did. And um, Emmett was kind of angry at me. I don't hate her enough to actually make her go through the loss of... Oh no, my Jonas is here. Here are my other pair of glasses. And the lab uniform. Good. So whatever problem I was having was a non-issue. Ooh, more ball beans. And the vault suits are not actually that valuable. I think they were valuable in uh, New Vegas though, because in that one you didn't start as a vault dweller. Alright. What else do we have? I think we have enough time for a coffee. Well, I accidentally took a mug before filling it. Ugh, oh, I'm bad at coffee. I'm really bad at coffee. It's not even funny how bad at coffee I am. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without the password. Okay. Set terminal inquire. Red V300. Set file protection owner. R red accounts F. Set hot restart main. Internationalizing Robco Industries and. Blah, 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 blah. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, what was the password last time? I think it was something with those option words. Was it tried? No, it can't be tried. No, it can be tried. No, is it tried? No. It has two in common with takes. So, hopes. There we go. Good. 
you security dossiers, tunnel snakes. If Potch and his leather clad deliquent cell cost the matter one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. The services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they are starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. And how to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Just what Ward 101 needs. An absent-minded, sexually repressed psychophant. Beatrice has served Ward 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at le least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. I never should have assigned Jonas as James's assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every vacant minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more ide idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Every time I try to get Amanda to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I have tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this world what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. She does try and with a lot of guidance has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it uh, all the sadder that she continues to alienate, alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that has cared for her alone. Alone, since she was an infant. As I just suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Buckets of more intense radiation appear to still be common and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of Raid X with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless, the town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. We encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm Mac's theory of mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimen, specimens for study upon return to the vault. See Exhibit A. The good news is that human civilization still survives despite everything. We discovered the settlement known as Megaton. See Exhibit B whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland, as the area around Washington DC is now called. From then, from then. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization, of sorts, but it seems that giant ants are the least of the dangers of the new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise the survey plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Agnes remained in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. And former survey team leader February 10th, 2241. Exhibit A. That's the ad, and that's Megaton. Ah, back. What the instructions? Letter from Dr. Stanislaus Brown. A letter to the overseer from Dr. Stanislaus Brown. If you are reading this, emergency vault internment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations. You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by Vortec Corporation, as outlined in your employment agreement. Your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. What was it? Garden of Eve Creation Kit? Yeah. Please see attachment A for details. Dr. Stasler's Brown and such etc etc. I have played Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 prior to this and I have done a few runs with this game as well. Never gotten very far, just out of the vault and explored the immediate vicinity. Um, I have never finished the first two games either, so there's that. Vault decks, 
Wait, that's your day. Watch 101 will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the OSCS sealed orders. Well, tech scientific entry, the GEC. The GEC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by WARTEC. A terraforming module capability of creating life from complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a WARTEC patented world, Residents can then activate the GEC and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grass lounge and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to diamond monetary constraints, not every ward will be equipped with a GEC module. Alright, and open over CS tunnel. Opening. Good. But now, now I will switch to this thing. Wait, no. I still have some business with the club. The bat. Alright. Down we go. Now here, this guy is the business I have with a bat. But the rest of the lot, we get something else. Look at the bullet, the python. Python. Yep. Alright, then, and then. Um, oh, here's the button. Activate switch. And of course. He's opening the vault door. Get the overseer. We need this door open now. No, don't get it open. Oh my god. You actually opened it. Yep. I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open, that's good. Hmm. My only concern was getting this door open, and I did. Of course. That was the plan, wasn't it? I was supposed to distract them while you got the door open. Mission accomplished! Now you're going to go out there, and I'm gonna go back and make up with my dear old daddy. I guess if anyone can survive out there, it's you. And I'm great at pretending everything's just fine, so that's okay too. Go on. What are you waiting for? No point in getting caught now after all this trouble. Goodbye. See ya. Stop in the name of the overseer. Oh, hello. You want a little bit of the fight, eh? Hold What's the matter, right huh? There. Can't stand the sight of your own blood? Hold it right there. Bam. 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 I wish I could aim. Yay. Oh, hello. That's something very lovely about this game, if I remember correctly. Whoop. No, I still want to shoot you in the head. Can I just do this? Accept. As I said, very lovely. Indeed. Um, no, I don't actually want any of this stuff, do I? No. Let's go raid the rest of the vault. Let's have it. I should probably actually leave. So let's do just that. What are you gonna do, Daddy? Beat me to death? Like you did poor Jonas? Where is he? Are you talking to there? Oh, fine. I guess this was a traumatizing experience for her. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.